All right, guys, look, before we get started on today's show, I got to throw a special shout out to M&K. They sent along this bison roast to the channel. And if you know M&K and you know me, you certainly do know the deal. Other than that, it is certainly going to be a show of first. I have done prime rib on the channel probably four or five times and probably 30, 40 times in life. So I am definitely interested in the taste differences between a bison prime rib and a regular prime rib. And today's show is also going to be a show of first. Again, bison first. And also, we will be firing up that Oklahoma Joe Tahoma. And that is going to be a first time for a long cook as a roast like this. So look, what I want to do here is let's turn that attention down to the board. We have a little bit of prep work to do. After that, we will fire up the Oklahoma Joe and start the show. So prepping this roast couldn't be more simple, and it is gonna be the same prep as you would with a prime rib. And the first thing to do is to open it up, and you wanna dry the meat off. Once you get that meat all dried off, you can get your favorite rub, but as with a prime rib, to me, the best rub is the simple rub, and I am talking about a salt, pepper, and granulated garlic. Look, if you don't keep this on hand, I mix this stuff up in batches. I get it from Amazon. I mix a whole bunch bunch up. I keep them in jars in the cabinet. This rub is going to be what you are going to use probably on 60, 70, 80 percent of your cooks. Again, links down in the description. Go pick up some bags of pepper and also grab some kosher salt, granulated garlic and start mixing your own. So basically what I am going to do here is I am just going to leave that fat cap on and start applying that rub. And you want to make sure you get enough rub. You want to get it all over tops, bottoms and also the sides. And once you get all that rub down, get it on a wire rack, get it on a tray. I've been doing this now for the past four, five, six cooks. I am going to get it in the fridge where it is going to sit overnight unwrapped for 24 hours. At that time, I will bring you guys back. So I've got the bison roast out of the fridge. We will bring that up to room temperature for about a half hour, 45 minutes. In the meantime, I will head on down to my Oklahoma Joe. We will get that unwrapped and we will start prepping that for the cook. And as you can see, I am gonna go with some B&B &B charcoal. I am gonna fill it about halfway up as we are looking probably for about a three hour cook or so. From there, as with any of these gravity feds, the lighting up is certainly couldn't be more simple. I will use a couple starters down below, get that fired up. Once you see some smoke billowing out from the hopper and also from the hood, I will shut the hopper down, shut the hood down, and fire up that control panel. We are looking to set this cook at 225. And now a little bit of a pro tip here for these Oklahoma Joe Tahomas. Unlike the master built where that fan kicks right on, once you set that temperature and get the cook started, it may take three or four minutes for that fan to kick on that is perfectly normal once that fan kicks on we will bring it up the temp at that time we will go back down into the shack and check out the bison 18 hours in the fridge and about 45 minutes on the stove to get it up to room temperature and here is our bison and i am going to monitor this cook with my chef's temp wireless and i gotta throw a shout out to chef's temp as you guys know that is all i use on the show this wireless came out probably about three or four months ago i've used it about a half a dozen times i even monitored one cook from about 25 miles away from the house and I gotta say, it just works. I've had a lot of these thermometers come out to the channel and there's always been a problem connecting or a problem here, a problem there. And I, you know, I just can't deal with it. This sucker works. And I have to say, Chef Temp has given me 25% off anything in the Chef's Temp store. And if you are looking for an upper type thermometer, look no further than Chef's Temp and we will get it in the center of the roast. That is gonna give me my ambient temp of inside the pit and also the roast attempt. Once we get that all set up, I will hit it with just a little bit of granulated garlic. After that, it is off to the pit. I, I have it on a rack in a tin. I will get that in the pit. And again, we are running at 225. And basically, we will just let this roast run for about 45 minutes or so. At that time, I will bring you guys back. 
We've got a temp reading of 100 on the uh, piece of protein and we are an hour in. This is a good time right here just to look the meat over. You want to make sure it is cooking evenly. If you guys seen my biscuit test with this pit, you know it is cooking evenly, but I still do like to check it. And I got to say, man, I am digging how this fat cap is rendering down. It is nice and soft. We will just get it back in the pit and let it run. I am looking to take this to about 120. 25 127 at that time i will bring you guys back approximately two and a half hours on the clock and 127 on the temp it is time to get that bison out and get it in the shack where i will let it rest probably for about 15 20 minutes that's all i can take at that time i will bring you guys back we will slice it open do that taste test talk about it and close out the show Alrighty guys, so here is the moment of truth. We will remove our chef's temp. I am definitely digging the color and I am hoping that we held that wall to wall, medium rare to rare. So let's just take this bad boy right down the center. And I gotta tell you, man, right off the bat, I am telling you, I am digging what I am seeing as it is definitely wall to wall, would you say rare to medium rare? I think I would. And also I am taken aback by the juices, man. Let's just do a little bit of squeezing because there ain't nothing wrong with that and get a little bit of that juice flowing and it is looking good, that is for sure. We will get off one slice of this bison to get it on the board because that is gonna be my taste test. And I am telling you, I am super jacked for this one as I am a huge prime rib eater and cannot wait to compare the two. At this point, what I wanna do is let's leave this here. I wanna take this in live. We've gotta do that taste test and we've gotta talk about it. Alrighty, so look, first off, I gotta say a special thanks to M&K for sending out this bison to the channel. I've never had a bison roast before, and I have to tell you, I was a little taken back on the, uh, on the juice explosion on this more than a prime rib and I just figured prime rib would be more because I know it's got a little bit more marbling a little bit more fat going through this is a lean piece of meat but the juice explosion was through the charts I hope the uh, I hope the camera got it Oklahoma Joe absolutely killer as it stands right now that is the pit of the year there is no doubt about it man it is it, it is everything you'd want in a gravity fed and there is only one thing left to do is just to taste this sucker I got Molly over here freaking out I mean the juice explosion is all over the shack on the deck it is just dripping down So observations is it, it, it although it cut like butter, there was a little bit a little bit more tougher to cut than say a uh, than say a prime rib. I am guessing because it is more of a lean piece of meat. Let's go in on that taste test. All right, guys, here you go, man. This is. Uh, well, this is a prime rib, man. This tastes just like a prime rib, maybe a little bit more beefier than a prime rib, if that makes sense. It doesn't have that uh, that spinalis running through as big as a prime rib does, but this is amazing, man. This has uh, this has the exact taste of a prime rib, but again, just a little bit more beefier than a prime rib. This is incredible, man, for sure. Wow, man, this is juicy as juicy can be. I am definitely, I have to tell you, I'm a little taken back. I, 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 I knew I was gonna like it, but I didn't think I was gonna like it this much. So I am definitely pleasantly pleased with that. Chef's tent, man, this thing rocks. I've got 25% off. This is the first wireless that has come across the channel. And trust me, I've tried them all. This is the first one that actually works, man. And I've got all information on that down in the uh, in this description. Again, Oklahoma Joe, the thing rocks. Maddie and Kiki rocks. Bison Prime Rib rocks, Chef Temps rocks, I rock, Molly rocks, everybody rocks on this one. And that is going to close out this show. Again, my name is Tommy. I appreciate you all for watching. And until next time, we will see you soon.